Hey guys, it's Jamie. I'm back here again to do another Packers makeup tutorial. Um, it is the third week of the season. Play the Seahawks tonight. I think I have got hopefully 45 minutes till I have to start the live vlog, so I'm going to try to pound this out, eat some dinner, and then get going. Um, and I'm going to try to talk through this one. Um, I haven't been doing too great at that in my videos lately, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, but first and foremost, everyone was complaining last time because he wasn't in the video. Come here. Come here. Say hi, Buster. Hi. We're a little tired right now, which is good. Hi. Yes, please don't lick off all my foundation. Say, I am adorable. Hmm? Are you done being in the video? He's kind of fluffy. He he actually needs a real person, well, real dog haircut now. Um, not just the puppy cut. And I'm sorry about the lighting. Like, it is really bright in here. It's just not right here. Um, I have my lamp and I have the window, and they're just not working right. Um, so let's just get started. I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. You don't really need a lot of this because... I'm using the color tattoos as bases anyway. I just, especially the Mineral Elf eyeshadow primer, I feel um, provides like kind of a almost a drier base, and it really helps prevent the creasing. Although I'm just wearing this for tonight, and I'm sitting at my own house, so getting this dolled up for myself a little bit silly, but it's also for you. Okay, that's it. Enough of that. Um, so the main two things I'm going to be using today are different from last time. I got the new Maybelline color tattoos. And do, 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 do. Uh, this one is in, I'll just open up, the gold shimmer, which you can't really see. It looks bronzy, but it's gold. I swear. And this one is in mossy green. And I have a swatch. Maybe I'll put it here, or maybe I won't. Um, but I've been wearing them a lot. They're really perfect fall colors, um, and they're really buildable, and I really like them. In fact, today for work, I just wore the gold shimmer and then green eyeliner because I didn't want to be all overboard Packer land because people in Cincinnati don't really get it. I don't really expect anyone outside of Wisconsin to get it. But so, what we are going to do is not that. We're going to do something else. Because <laughs> I was going to start with the gold. So I'm going to take the mossy green and an elf shade shadow brush and just get a little bit on there. You really don't need a lot. It will go a long way. And I'm just going to do um, the base of my eyelid, not going above the crease. So you can see, look at that. Look at that. This is why I don't talk in my... I love these colors. I love them. Love them. It really is good lighting in here if you guys just want to come to my house and watch me do this. Oh, speaking of watch me do makeup, one of the reasons I wanted to get this up tonight is because next weekend... It's their back weekend, and I won't be there to do a live makeup tutorial like many people like to requested. So I'm doing this tonight. And if you don't know what their back weekend is, and you're a Packer fan, I will link it below, or maybe even right here if I'm feeling that cool. But it's awesome. It's like every Packer fan ever in Green Bay hanging out. Who wouldn't love that? I won't be there though because someone has to run the internet while you guys are all being drunkies eating cheese. So this is what we have so far. Hopefully you can see it. If not, sorry. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is the green color. As you can see, I think it's just beautiful for fall. So I would wear it. I've worn it on non-packer days. On top of that, we're going to take the Lorac that I used in my last one. Which you can't see because the lighting sucks. This is in Lush. Imagine that. Works perfectly for Packers. And I'm just going to place a little bit of this on top and just dab it on because we don't want to just kind of try to set that color. Enough blush. Um, yeah, 
And then we're going to take the gold color. I really wish you could see how beautifully gold this is because it's awesome. It's this goldy. It does turn out a little bit bronze, but I love it. So we're just going to get a little bit of that. And this is just on an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush as well. Um, I really like the e.l.f. $1 eyeshadow brushes when you're using cream shadows because if you end up messing up the bristles, they're a dollar. So who cares? So I'm going to put this above the green. I really hadn't planned this out before, so it, I hope it turns out okay. If it doesn't, then you probably won't be seeing this. It's good for now. So you have your gold on top. Then I'm going to take my 88 palette, the matte one. Um, I think it's like the original. Um, I got off eBay, but obviously they're at BH, Coastal Scents, all the same. Fun, fun, fun. I'm going to take this um, slanted brush. Yeah. It's a, it says MAC 275, so, and I'm going to go in with this, mm, that one, olivey green color that you can't see because my lighting sucks. I'm going to place that in between the green and the gold to kind of blend them out a little bit. It's just a little bit lighter than blush. Then, from this palette, I'm going to use this gold right here. This is another fun, cheapy palette, and I'm just going to use this tiny little shader brush. Get some gold on it. And I'm going to place that above where I just put the more olive -y green. It's amazing how dark that looks in this. Now, for my brow bone, I have got way too much shit on here. take this stiff, real stiff, kind of almost like a liner brush and go in with, in my um, 88 palette, it's this creamy white color. It's got like a yellow base, so it'll go with the gold. On the bone, on the top, on the brow bone. It looks like fun. It looks so much darker than it is. It's really not this dark. I mean, it is, but it's not like dark. Okay, so then we are going to put away some of these brushes. Oh, let's blend again. I'm going to start with the gold color. I'm going to pretend I didn't just call it a different color and then edit that out. Take my little liner brush. And line about halfway. And it, don't worry, it's gonna be messy. We'll clean that. I didn't put on any concealer yet. There's a dog barking outside, and Buster's very excited. And I'm using more of like smudgy liner brushes and not sharp pencil line brushes, so. Clean up time. First things first. Now, I am not going to line my eyes, mostly because I just don't want to, and because I just want the color to be there and not the black line. Okay, now I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in number 10. Don't know why I'm talking like that. Okay, eyebrows, quick. I'm just going to use two colors from the Ulta Eyeshadow Quad Cashmere. 
think it's called? Cashmere and brass, I mix them up. Brass, that can't be right. I guess it is. Okay, curl my lashes. I'm now using, I used to use the e.l.f. eyelash curler, like, religiously, but it really does, um hurt my eyelashes like it cuts them which is not good so I'm going to use my Elta one which is kind of weird and I'm not completely used to yet I mean look at that that's just weird I think I can never tell if I've gotten all my eyelashes um, I'm just going to use my Ico mascara it's because I love it because it's gentle and wonderful and that brush is awesome And I get eczema on my eyes really bad. So when I'm doing like massive looks like this at late at night for S and G's, I mean you might want to use false lashes. I generally don't. Oh, also you'll notice I am ambidextrous at ambidextrous at one thing and that is putting on mascara. Because I got sick and tired of getting that little black line across my nose. And so I taught myself that. Can I teach myself any other skills with my left hand? Nope. Just makeup related ones. Okay, eyes are done. They look really dark. I promise they're not this scary. Lighting just sucks. So I'm also backwards because my brushes are usually over here. But you're over here, so my brushes have to be over here. And that's problematic. So quick bronzer. And we see Sunny which is really nice for me because it's not super dark. And a MAC 168. It is seven o'clock and I need to get the live blog started because inactives are being listed right now. Kel, if you're watching this, I had to start the live blog. Um, I don't feel like being that peachy. Okay, F it. 28 blush palettes. Oh my god, Do you, you guys, I've been doing this for 26 minutes. That's how sad my life is. Brush palettes. This one. Little teeny tiny brush. here. So we'll just put on some gloss and call it a freaking day. Because I haven't even eaten yet. Okay, I'm going to walk you over to the window so you can see that it doesn't look this dark. La la la. There. See? Window. Natural light. I should probably like looking in the camera. That'd be helpful for you, huh? Okay, so that was my Packers week three game day makeup. I didn't make a video last week, but I did put pictures up. You can find them on my Facebook or my Twitter, um, which maybe I'll link below. But I hope everyone has a great day. Go Pack Go. Check out the Cheesehead TV live blog because that's what I am about to go do. So, bye. Buster says bye too. Say bye-bye.